Alrighty, so we need to form the kingdom of fashion. But first things first, we, we're not Italy anymore, all right? Being Italy, pff, who wants to be Italy when you can be dripple, drip, drip, <laughs> Dri dripply? There we go. You already know we're not Italy anymore. We're dripply because our freaking drip is just too fucking damn good. All right, now before we can do anything on moving towards uh, to forming the fashion kingdom, we need to go ahead and uh, win this little war down here because it is going to get in the way. So while we do that, we're going to quickly actually go ahead and... Now, we are going to choose Diplomacy and Foreign Affairs Focus to give us a plus three Diplo skill, and we are going to also focus on the Diplomat skill tree. Now, the reason for that being is because once we get the Diplomat perk, we also get an extra plus three Diplomacy skill, along with plus 20% Independent Ruler and a plus 25% skill power, which is going to also be good. And we need to have a shit ton of kids. I mean, like, dude, like, we need a lot of kids. So what are we going to do first? You already know. We're going to romance our wife, all right? Oh, well, gotta get her opinion up on us. And we're also gonna create a cadet branch to give us plus 350 prestige, which is gonna help us actually declare war on East Franca at some point and just uh, grab their kingdom. But while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just win this war. We sail a boat down the coast of Italy. Woo -hoo -hoo -la -la. Uh, but there we go. We are going to ransom. Oh, wow. We, we captured a kid. Uh, you know, what? we're gonna ransom all these people off. Might as well. Uh, oh, oh, and we finally win our wall. Sweet. All right. Now that we have done that, we are now making plus 5.3 a month, which is nice. Ransom big boy off over here. Now, so in order for us to even get the kingdom of fashion, we need to come over here to our royal court and we need to come to court grandeur. Now, while we're coming to court grandeur, we need to either be level four fashion or level five. But since we're playing against Italy, we are going to grab the level five fashion as we are making a decent amount per month. Now, we're going to quickly go ahead and grab that. Now, and oh, oh shit, we also got to add the, the car power spender to there as well. Now, since we have done that, we actually now come over here to the decisions, and we now have a thing called introduce a new fashion to court. Now, when we do introduce a new fashion to court, we do need to have a high diplomacy skill set. And for example, if we didn't have that, well, some dude will come up to us and tell us that we're not drippy enough because they have more drip than us, and that's gonna be fucking annoying because we are supposed to be the drippiest in all of Crusader Kings 3. Alright, so we, we, we kind of need to uh, <laughs> do something along the lines of that. But while we're down here, I think we could also maybe go ahead and uh, go for some claims against uh, some of these people down here. Uh, but obviously we don't have a Cassus Belly. Uh, but we're going to get our wife here who can increase court politics. She's got that mad Diplo, which is sick. And we are going to go ahead and ally with the Byzantines with our beautiful daughter down here. Actually, no, we cannot. Um, I think we're a bit too late. But we're going to go ally with the uh, with the people of Wales or Aquitaine. Uh, but probably go for the people of Wales just because they have more men, which is nice. Oh, oh man, we're about to become... You became the owner of Lavender Plackett, which has given us plus one. And now that our spouse is actually a plus 10 for uh, diplomacy, we now have a plus 15 in diplomacy, which is absolutely insane. But we're also going to form the HRE as well in this video, because why not? Like, quite literally. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and declare our war on East Frankia, because fuck them, all right, you bitches. Uh, yeah. Oh, and she gained the trait pregnant. Let's go! Give me a son or another daughter because Thingo has a son called Leon, you know, and he has curly bowl cut hair. Give me a goddamn good son. Oh, and we got a alliance offer from Lofrangia. Okay, you know what? I Alright, that's bullshit. Oh, we had a daughter who has no fucking face. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna call you, uh, you know, uh, all the way down here, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, like, channel... Oh, oh, you know what, we could also just, yeah, go to war for the rest of these duchies as well, I mean, that would be nice. I um, mean, just, you know, go to war with the, uh, with some of these people. Over down here, we're gonna declare war on you, holy war for your county, and then we're gonna go holy war, wait, is this a big county? No, it's, it's a duchy. I'm gonna go for a holy war on your duchy, and we're gonna go ahead and solve some of these problems. Sweet. How you doing, big boy? Let's go. Oh, what happened here? Moved by tribulations, Duke Conrad has offered me his counsel, and it, it has offered me his counsel and aid on occasion to help elevate burden my duties. However, Conrad's attentions have occurred that ear Duke Conrad cannot be trusted. It would only be my place to trust those who deserve it. Sounds like that's a W1. Sweet.
Oh, sweet, there we go, and we can enforce our demands as well, and, uh, you know what's funny? We actually gotta create a lot of titles, because, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be 100% honest, yeah, it's, it's not looking real good. Is it a brothel? Um, what a living fuck. I wake up after an amazing night filled with passion, and that one woman insisted on staying later than anyone else, riding me until I fell asleep. <laughs> Whew, that was an experience, oh my god. God, I get up dressed, but something seems to be missing. Something fairly important. Something like all my things. The room is picked clean. Oh, oh, that cursed woman. But hey, at least we lose a bit of stress. I mean, nah, it's alright. We got over with you. Get over here, so Get over here, kid. You fucking need stupid dumbass. All right, sweet. No, oh man, we going on so much. Oh no. Oh yeah, you better start running. Uh, what are you doing over here, big boy? <laughs> Oh, he thinks he can get away with it. Oh, what a dumbass. Uh, you're an idiot, brother. Uh, but you know, we might as well go ahead and, uh, come back over here. Grab that barony. And, I th and there we go. Five years ago. Jesus. Um, how old are we now? We're now 45 years old. All right, would you look at that? We, uh, kind of just gain it either way. So that's nice as well. We're gonna go up and come over here and quickly grant these holdings over to some, uh, beautiful Zella people. Hopefully, uh, yep. There we go. Uh, we are now undirect by four vassals. And I think that's all the land I think I really want to create. Uh, we can negotiate an alliance with so many people. Bingo. So, like, I, wait, can we go for kingdom? And invade for kingdoms and stuff yet? No, we can't because this man is literally allied with fucking everyone, bro. Oh, no. He, that, he's, he's got a big alliance going on. And uh, good old King Alfred here. Uh, arrange a marriage with him and my 11-year-old uh, daughter. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Good old Alfred Never he, he never disappoints me, man. He never does. Oh, wow, we got a hundred thingo with you. Oh, hospitality is the last one. After what can only be described as a fourth late peasant, Pope Edmund in his routines about to depart for the papacy, before King Bishop sets into his carriage, he bows deeply to you and expresses his gratitude for me and my most charming wife. Um, okay, but hey, we, he gave us a free diplomacy perk. It's kind of weird that he said that, but um, yeah, that's fine. No, that's good. And we also get plus one for diplomacy as well, which is good. Um, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and quickly grab children, receive up to one to three. Actually, no, we're gonna grab this. Uh, plus one per alliance. So what, we're now chilling at 21? Less gold, dude. All right, we can ask the head of faith for gold since he does have a good opinion on us, but um, we're not gonna do that just yet, but I think it's time, lads, that we introduce the new fashion. Let's go. All right, old fashion infused. I strut around my court, proud of my new bold fashion forward statement. My garments adorned with enormous round collar for all to admire. You look like a bird who swallowed a plate, my guest. Stefania cries. What's her diplomacy? Pretty dog shit. Uh, Stefania cries out for me across the hall. We throw insults back and forth, my, myself defending what is so obviously good fashion, going far above the head of a simple mind as the local nobility flocking around me. I consider myself a fashion statement. I always know best. Yes! Come on! Ah, uh, we didn't get it! RG Jesus didn't bless me! Ah! Uh, we need to wait till 886. No! Ah! But eight, you know, we're making 11 a month, dude. That's actually pretty damn good. Uh, goddamn fucking die. I, I, I need to go to war, you know? Uh, I mean, I could just declare war on you, but, you know, you've got freaking all these allies and stuff and really don't want to deal with all of them at once. Uh, but, you know, we're just building up gold, you know? We're just, we're doing us things and we're going to sway the Pope as well because, uh, you know, we might as well. Um, all right, we need to wait three more years. You know what? I think it's, we failed one time, but this time... We will be the drippiest of drip. All right, we're going to change up the hairstyle, all right? You already know we're going to go with the page boy, all right? We're going to go give us a mad fucking beard, all right? Give us the freaking long, straight, rough beard. All right, what, a crown? Are you kidding me? Who the fuck wears a crown, bro? Damn, all right, we need something drippy as shit, all right? We need these spectacles. Mm. All right, now we need a new cloak, all right? We need a cloak soaked and rich in drip. Oh, mate, you already know. Royal cloak. Now we need new clothes. Oh, mate, you already know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at us now. You cannot tell us we are King Lewis the Drip. Oh, dude, we are the masters of drip, and you guys know it. Uh, we should all know this by now. All right, we're going to gain adaptive traditions. We need... I'm literally just... Oh, who would have known? All right, I'm literally just wait. Oh, I was literally just about to say I'm literally about to wait for him to fall just so i can go to war and uh would you look at that sweet beautiful all right so we're now gonna go to war with big man over here and we are still allied with lafrangia as well which is 
freaking sweet. And we are allied with Wessex too. So good old West Frank here. I am going to obviously take over your land. All right. I've got a bunch of prestige uh, saved up as well. All right. I think I'm, we're actually pretty close to becoming exalted among men. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, just move our armies up here as well. And we are going to go call Lothrangia in and uh, Wessex. I feel like that's the way we went a bit overboard with it, but, uh, you know, that's good. That's fine. Uh, and we're gonna come over here, and we're just gonna go, sh we're just, you know, we're just gonna march right into it at this point. Um, obviously, there we go. Oh, look at West Frankia, bro. They literally just came out of the gates pretty damn strong with the Kingdom of Alba. Alrighty. Well, we're still waiting for Wessex to hopefully jump on in soon. Okay, well, we got a plus level. Oh, there we go. Uh, 2,000. Oh, God, dude, there's so many of them. Uh, but there's so many of us. Um, you know what? Screw this. No, no, no. We're going. We're going to war, boys. Oh, no. Wait. We're going to war. All right. Good. Let's come down here. Yes. Fight. Let's go. Oh, yes. Big dubs. Oh, God. Dude, that was so close. Um, Homage taking the knee. Oh, beautiful. How many people do we end up killing? 5,000 troops. All right. Sweet. We're, do oh, we're doing pretty nice so far. All right. We're going to go siege the capital of Paris. I meant France. I said the capital of Paris. Uh, we're going to go siege Paris. Um, ooh, will we gain cynical or he gains temperate? Now, temperate is something that we actually want him to have. And hopefully... Oh, yes. Oh, we captured him. It's so shit. All right. Sweet. We now have our claim on friggin' France. Look at that. Drippoli is looking hella sweet right now, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's looking pretty damn good. All right, so now would you... Wait, do we even... Can we also have claims on... Uh, wait, Prince Louis's claims? Oh, dude, we could also go to war for Aquitaine. Oh, man. See, that would be crazy, but we got... We are so above our vassal limit. Um, it's actually not funny. <laughs> Oh, oh, we could also request a claim on Ireland. If the Holy Seer campaign of the barbarous tribes of Ireland, all the British Isles could become ours to rule. Oh, okay. Uh, Colin Gaines, Lord Blitzer, the Holy See has sanctioned family claims. Oh, wow. All right. Um, now, in order for us to restore the Holy Roman Empire... Oh, we... Okay, so we have everything. We just need to get the Pope to level 60 uh, diploma, uh, thingo. So we're going to go ahead, offer him thingo. Would you look at that? And, um... Wow, we can now finally reformed the Holy Roman Empire. Rina Vito Romania Piri! You are now the Empire of the Rest. For too long, the mantle of the Roman Emperor in the West has gone unclaimed. Today, as I face Pope Urbanus in the grandest church in all of Rome, surrounded by my vassals and clergy, that changes. We exchange prayers and beneficiaries by wrote asking God, bless me with the strength and mercy to rule my empire according to his will. Solemnly, Pope Urbanus gifts me with crown and sword and charges me me with care of all Christian and Silence followed by urge of soaring hymns and drowned out, only by furious cheers of my nobles. At last, I am the royal emperor. And we now gained the nickname The Great with 500 fame. Sweet, we are now Emperor Louis the Great. Not the younger, but the great. Alright, we're doing good. Oh, we could also dismantle Greek pretenders. Uh, that's also pretty fucking sick. And we could also mend the Great Schism. Uh, so, you know, this is, you know, this could go into a part two. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, we could go for Aquitaine, but we need to form the kingdom of Drip. Alrighty, uh, so where are we at? Uh, we can't do that until 886. So what we're going to do is, um, now that we are emperor, um, I think, yeah, we uh, but you know what? We, wait, how, what's our health like? Uh, we're feeling fine, sweet. Even though we got lover's pox, that's all good. We're going to go ahead, right, and grab Aquitaine. Sweet, here we go. Um, we're Oh, wait, no, wait, why did I declare war so early? Uh, that's a really good question. I didn't even let my uh, armies thing go. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, grant uh, our vassals their rightful leisures, uh, which is good. Do we are suffering from fair enough then? I mean, yeah, no, you know, we might as well grab it. <laughs> might as well. Uh, sweet. So we're going to grab these two together, merge them. Sweet. Merge these armies. All right, off we go to the kingdom of Aquitaine. We will now enter the royal court. Oh, royal laps. Uh, forgive me. Um, Very good. And court talent. Uh, he's gen- Yes. No, let Drippy get his genius, all right? And we also have the skull cap of Charlemagne, which is also really nice to have in our courts. And we have a bunch of Carling House Dynasty banners uh, as well. So, uh, so far, we are, uh, you know, we're, we're doing really well. Um, oh, shit. Okay, they're literally just, they've already started clapping everything. Oh, dope. All righty. And let's 
Go ahead, grab that. And we now have the capital. Oh, wait, we got to... Oh, we can hold a court. Diplomacy. We now have flexible truce, shorter truces. Uh, oh, literally hold a court. Oh, there we go. How long did that last? That only lasted 17 months. Holy shit. All right, enforce demands. So be it. Dude, look at that. Um, we... That, that, that's, a, that's a lot of land. Oh, God. Um, uh... Okay, nominate successor. My son. All right, you know what? Fuck it. All right, we just became the drippiest of all drip in Crusader Kings 3. All right, even though we didn't get the fucking... Uh, the pop-up. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get RNG in this episode. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, don't forget to leave a like and, uh, subscribe. Uh, we're gonna be making Crusader Kings 3 content here on this channel on a weekly basis from now on. Uh, I currently do have another video in the works. That one may take a little bit longer. But thank you everyone so much for watching. If you guys want a part 2 to this, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to join the Discord. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye!